Hello, Ben Noor here from RTV Incorporated. I'm going to show you how to build a virtual tour using the online Tour Builder 4.0 software, which is both PC and Mac compatible. First, you will need to log into your Tour Management System account. The web address is tms.realtourvision.com. Once you have arrived at the page, go ahead and enter in your username and password and then click to log in. Before you can begin building your virtual tour, you need to stitch together your panoramic images. If you need help with this process, simply click on the training button at the top and watch the Panaview 101 stitching video or read through the directions in the Panaview 101 manual. Once you have completed stitching your panoramic images together, you are ready to begin building your virtual tour. To begin building your virtual tour, you need to click on the gray Create HDV Tours button. This will open the Tour Builder 4.0 software. On the first page of the Tour Builder 4.0 software, you will see that you begin by selecting the type of tour that you're going to create. On the drop-down menu, you will see several different tour types there to help you categorize and organize your virtual tours to make it easier to find a specific tour when you're searching for them later. It is important to note that if you are creating a real estate virtual tour, that you select one of the real estate tour types, either commercial real estate or residential real estate as these two tour types activate fields on the tour viewer specific to real estate virtual tours. After you select your tour type, enter in a title for the virtual tour that will appear on the tour window. Below the title field, you have four fields to edit the colors of the tour viewer. You can edit the menu text color, the tour frame color, the title and spinfo color, and the background color behind still images. To change a color, click in the color box and the color selector will appear. You can use the color slider and color selector tool to select the color that you'd like to use, or you can enter in your own color values. The last field on this page is the hotspot icon selector where you can choose the type of icon that you want to use for the hotspots in your virtual tour. It's important to note that you can only select one icon type per tour. To view the options, simply click on the button and you will see a drop down list of icons appear. Scroll through the list of icons and then click to select your desired icon. Then click on the continue button to move on to the next page of the software, the image uploading page. To upload your panoramic and still images into the virtual tour, click on the gray upload button. When the image selection window appears, click to browse to your folder of images and then begin selecting the images that you want to upload into your virtual tour. You can upload both panoramic images and still images all at the same time. So select all the images that you would like to upload into your tour and after you have finished selecting your images, you will click the open button to begin the uploading process. Notice on the right hand side of your screen that a box appears for each image you've selected with a status bar that indicates its uploading progress. After your images finish uploading, you're ready to make the final edits to your virtual tour scenes. Now the virtual tour has an autoplay feature that will display the images in the order that they appear here on the upload screen. If you would like to change the display order of your virtual tour scenes, you can do so by simply dragging and dropping the images into the desired sequence order. Scroll down through your images and select the desired starting scene. Then left mouse click and hold on that image and simply drag it up to the first 
image position at the top of the list. Then continue to follow this process for the remainder of the images. As your images were being uploaded into the Tour Builder 4.0 software, the software guessed as to the type of image you were uploading. It uploaded some of them as stills, and it designated other images as panoramas. In this case, this image was designated as a partial panorama, when in fact, this image is a full 360 panorama. So we need to change this image type to full pano, so that it will be displayed properly in the virtual tour. Make sure that you check the rest of your virtual tour scenes to make sure that the image type is correct for each of the remaining images. After you finish checking the remainder of your images for the proper display type, we need to give our images a descriptive name that will appear in the virtual tour. Click in the box for the image name and give the image a descriptive name as you want it to appear in the virtual tour. Continue to edit the names for the remaining images until all images have the proper descriptive name. You can also add descriptive information to each tour scene that will be displayed on the tour window for that image. To edit this information, highlight the text in the description box and type in the text that you would like to be displayed. If you would like all of your virtual tour scenes to use the same description, then you only need to enter your description in one time on the first image. Then click on the gray copy down spinfo to duplicate that same description on all of the remaining virtual tour scenes. If you do not want to use the same description for all your virtual tour scenes, then simply click in the description box for each tour scene and enter a unique description. After you have finished the final edits to each of your virtual tour scenes, checking each scene to make sure that it has the proper image display type, descriptive name, and scene description, click continue. And the software will process each image for both the high definition tour and the standard size tour. After the image processing is completed, you will be brought to the final page of the Tour Builder software. On the Scene Details page, you will be able to add hotspots to your virtual tour scenes, select new starting points for your panoramas, and even click the button to capture a thumbnail for your virtual tour. To add a hotspot to your virtual tour, first select the scene that you want to add the hotspot to. Then place your mouse on the image in the position where you want the hotspot to be located and left mouse click. The details box will open up where you can add a descriptive caption to the hotspot that will appear when the customer mouses over that hotspot. Next select the scene you want that hotspot to open in the virtual tour and then click the save button. Continue on with the rest of the scenes, adding the remainder of your hotspots. After you have finished making your edits on the Scene Details page, you can click the Continue button at the bottom of the page. Now that you have completed the tour building process, you can continue your training with the TMS video series, where you'll learn how to add client information, add audio, edit the information on your virtual tour, publish the tour, and even deliver the tour to your customer.